well, I'd appreciate it if you, you know. Oh, uh, no, no. Yeah. Uh, what about the second time? Oh, well, yeah, that she does know about that. That was breaking and entering. <laughs> or trying to. Yeah. Or I kicked in this shop door, I see. It was a, what do you call it, a lingerie shop. Well, I see this nightly in the window. And it was her birthday coming up. And, well, well, 10 o'clock at night, dark. Stupid, middle of the high street. Well, the couple was down on me before I got a bleeding door open. <laughs> those, just those two convictions. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for telling me. All right, then, Mr. Goss. Well, I'll come again tomorrow. One thing about you, you don't start laying down the law like most of them. Well, I still might, though. Here, yeah, there is one... Uh, <clears throat> well, I mean, you don't... Not seriously, you don't think that I'd have your... I've killed my own kid, do you? I don't know, Mr. Goss. I honestly can't say. Yeah, well, that's straight enough, isn't it? Bye-bye, Timmy. Bye, Mrs. Goss. There's another child there. I've left it, and I don't know if I ought to have done. A risk. What you have to ask yourself is whether and why you're prepared to take it. Oh, the second part's easier to work out. Why? Well, go on. Well, if I'm going to establish a relationship, I've got to get a footing. To remove the other child immediately would put their backs up. Oh, well, hers is up already, but... Well, his at least doesn't appear to be. How do you mean appear? Well, is he pretending to me? Putting on an act? I don't think he could carry it off. He's a very nervous, insecure sort of man. Not clever. I mean, even as a criminal, it's petty, stupid things he's done, that's all. He says. No, but honestly, Audrey, I'm inclined to believe him. See, there's, there's no spontaneous aggression, even towards the dog. Animals can be less demanding. Mm. But he loves that little boy. What's more important, the boy loves him. Goes to him quite naturally for protection. But he wouldn't do that if he was frightened of him. And a, ma a man who looks like that and isn't even his own father. The one child theory. Well, yeah. I have a case myself. Five children in the family. Four of them treated quite normally and affectionately. Only one who's a bit backward gets knocked about. Because she's a disappointment. Well, there you are. You know yourself, sometimes if we remove the battered one, they turn on one of the others. But Timmy's over four. That's a bit old for this kind of battering, isn't it? Statistically. And anyway, if we took the child away, they might just pack up and disappear. Especially as the rent's overdue. Margaret, he has got a criminal record, which may be a good deal worse than he says it is. Yes, I know it. No, I'm going to take the risk. I'm going to leave the child there. Oh, they know I'm coming back in the morning. I just hope I'm not making a terrible mistake. What time is it in? Quarter past ten. I'm sorry to be so early, but I happened to pass this way first. Yeah, well, can you can you give us a couple of minutes? Hmm? I'm sorry to wake you up, but this was the most convenient way I could fit it in. Get this going, Taylor. Where are those bloody fags gone, Eddie? I don't know. Where'd you, where'd you leave them? Here they are on the floor. Here you are. 
I would be going to see Mandy. No news of you. Yeah, she is. Yes, I rang the hospital. They said she was just about the same. How's Timmy this morning? Oh, he's still fast asleep by the sound of it. That was your fault. Let him stop up so late, wasn't it? Well, kids, they never want to go to bed, do they? You can't blame them. Can I just have a peep at him? Uh, Mr. Goss? Where is he, Sheila? Oh, I think he slipped out of play. He sometimes slips out, you know, before we get up there. I'd like to see him, please, Mr. Goss. Yeah, all right. Timmy! Timmy! God, the number of times I've told him oh, not to go out of there... Oh, Timmy, what's the good of that? And never learned that way. Anything could have happened. He could have gone off and got lost, fallen in the stream, anything. Oh, well. <laughs> I was always the same when I was a kid. As soon as the sun was shining, I was I would, off out. I would like to see him, please, Mr. Goss. Yeah, all, <clears throat> all right. Well, let me get my boots on, will you? You wouldn't, um, you wouldn't be happening into, uh, well, pass this way a bit later no, on, though. I'm like. sorry, I'm not. Oh, have a cup of tea first. Look, let's go and look for him now, shall we? Yeah, all right. Come and put your breakfast ready. You hungry? Yeah. yeah? I'm You're starving, are you? Well, here you go then. That's it. I'll have, to, I'll have to put a boat or something on that door. <laughs> well, she's right, isn't she? I mean, anything could have happened to him. I'm sorry I had to be so insistent. Uh, can I, uh, well, have you got a minute? Yes, of course. It's me. Dead loss, you know. Dead loss. Other people can work, get a job, but me, I don't know. All I want to do is sleep all day. I'm, t I'm tired. Doing nothing and I'm tired. But people look at me, they say, cool, a great big bloke like you. I mean, well, they're right, isn't they? But I suppose they're scared of me, scared of the size of me. Out of your physical strength. <laughs> I like it when you put it like that, yeah. I used to have a job boxing. Naboo, fairground. All comers. Young lads, some of them. Used to think that was Jack the Bleeding Giant Killer. No, a rubber ball could have knocked me over. No balance, no guts. I used to cheer their heads off when I went down. <laughs> that was the only reason the boss kept me on. Yeah. I can't fight, I can't work, I can't even... <laughs> yeah, well... Ever since Mandy came along, we're both too tired. She won't stop long. Well, has she said so? No, not till yesterday morning. It was the first time. When they told her up at the hospital that they're going to get the children's department people in. Why does she feel so strongly about them? Was she in a home herself? No. Did you ask her afterwards what she'd got against them? Yeah, but well, she just says she didn't want to talk about it. You can't tell what she's thinking sometimes. She's, um... Good with the children, is she? Yeah. Well, she's she's devoted to Timmy. Right. Can't have been easy. Not married, fellow left her, didn't want to know. When you first met, did you mind about Timmy? What do you mean? Well, did you ever think of having him? Oh, no, there was no question of that. I mean, he meant everything to her. Well, never entered me head, did it? You wouldn't get rid of a kid like that, would you? You've been married before? Yeah. Twelve years ago. A couple of kids. One's about twelve, the other eight, I suppose. She got married again. Why were you divorced? 
you mind telling me? Well, he had a decent job, didn't he? You couldn't blame her. She would have lived with him. That was that. I never thought I'd ever meet anybody like Sheila. If I'd met her when I was a bit younger, I mean, she might have got me working. She can't now. I'm too old to change, ain't I? I don't know. I... A beautiful young girl, two kids, and I think to myself every day, it can't last. So you go on doing the very thing that makes sure it can't. Yeah, it's true, isn't it? When you put it like that, it's, it's true, but... Oh, well. I see you've got a lot of calls to make, haven't you? Thanks, anyway. Well, I'll come again tomorrow. But well, not so early. Oh, no, you're out wandering about. God knows where. Yeah, all right, all right, all right. Here, yeah, now, come on, come on, come on. Shh. Let's have a look. Here, yeah, come on, it's not as bad as all that, is it? Look, there, stop bleeding already, isn't it? Come on, wipe them tears away. Sit, all right? Here, do you want a sweetie? Forget all about it. All right, yeah. go on. Up you go, there you are. There. That's a good lad. What happened That bloody animal knocked him flying. He fell right against that thing there. He could have taken his eye out. Oh, well, well it didn't, did it? But, um, well, he's all right. Oh, no, I'm, uh, I'm ever so sorry about that, miss. Oh, that's all right. Don't apologise. I'm glad it wasn't serious. It bloody is serious. Yes. I'll, I'll come tomorrow. Come back with him. He knew I was doing his breakfast and eat yours. I can't tie you up and do everything and look after him and yeah, look all after right, him. All right, all right. Well, he's just having a bit of a chat, that's all. I could see that. What about? Well, nothing in particular. Just this and that. I like her. So I've noticed. What the hell does she have to come yeah. snooping around first thing in the morning for? Mm -hmm. You know perfectly well why. Don't be daft. Well, how should I? You're the one she does all the talking with. Well, you talk to her next time then. Anyway, she's, well, she's different from the others. She's no different at all. She's like the rest, only better looking. Oh, don't be daft. Oh, don't keep saying don't be daft. Can't you think of nothing else? Perhaps you think I'm silly because she's so posh and clever spoken. That's it, clever bird, do you? You'll be all right now, mate, yeah? Do you want to go out and play then? Go on, off you go. Yeah, take your milk with you. Go on, get out first. I'll give you your milk in a minute, all right? Here. And don't you go out that field. Tell him that's all you ever do. He doesn't take a bloody bit of notice. Well, Christ, he's only four, isn't he? No one kept their hands on me because I was only four. Oh, all right then. Well, where's my tea? Throwing it away. I didn't think you'd want in it. Soon I'd be sitting out in the field with a little piece. I could see you, you know. Well, you could see us then. You wouldn't have nothing to worry about, would you? Oh, please help me up, you big strong man. I'm too little to get up on my own. Now look here. She's not my type now, is she? So no, she seems keen enough to come around and see you. Well, I've told you. Next time you talk to her, huh? No, thanks. Oh, come on, Sheol. 